Yo, what is going on, Camp Life? It's your boy Lost Soul, man. And uh, I want to do this video, man. I've been doing this uh, YouTube thing, man. And and a lot of people, man, I, I get on here and I clown and I joke and everything else. So this video is going to be a little something different than what I normally do. And uh, by the meaning of that is, is I want to talk about this shit that's going on in Virginia. And then uh, the shit that's going on all over the fucking world, man. And uh, right now, man, we got a big thing going on in Virginia uh, that's dealing with the Robert E. Lee statue, or General Lee, as some people will call him. Um, and it's that the people are wanting it down, okay? And uh, then there's people out there protesting that it's uh, history. You know what I mean, it should stay around and, and blah, blah, blah. And I don't have a stance on the either side of this, you know what I mean? Uh, but what I do have a stance on is on both sides of that debate right there, you have people that are out there that none of the facts that they're they're protesting them about even matters. They're there to cause violence. They're there to cause uh, a drama. They're there to be just fucking illiterate and stupid. Uh, the majority of those illiterate and stupid people are is the skinheads that are out there, uh, the Aryan Brotherhood, whatever you want to call them, and the Klansmen. Uh, and then on the other side, there's some people out there that are there just as stupid, you know what I mean, who are wanting to to fight and confront and, and be stupid right along with those people. And my thing is, man, is I've always told everybody, man, that I was raised by a racist i was raised by somebody who has been in and out of prison and they uh you know are tatted up with the cracker bowls you know what i mean uh, uh just a pure racist all around and i was raised up like that man and and i didn't come in contact with uh people of other races until middle school you know what i mean i'm talking you know 13 years old you know where i was in contact with people of different ethnic backgrounds um, on a daily basis, you know what I mean? Yeah, I've seen, you know, as a kid, I'd see uh, black people at stores, you know, Spanish people at stores and stuff like that, but not on a daily basis. And that brings me to some things, man, and I just watched a homie, he did a video about racism, and uh, he made some good points, and there were some points I didn't totally agree with, but, uh, Racism is a, is a funny issue, man, and not funny as in ha ha, but it's just funny as in wow, you're that stupid. Um, and let me be frank with you right now, man. Um, racism happens on all sides of uh, ethnic backgrounds. You know what I mean? Um, uh, there's prejudice. Uh, Black people, there's prejudice. White people, there's prejudice. Uh, you know, um, Spanish people, Asian people. It, it happens to every ethnic background. And uh, my thing about this is, is okay, there's my my thoughts on it is there's three ways people become racist. Because there definitely nobody is born racist. Um, you are either raised up to be racist. Um, and then you never grow out of that or learn your own way uh, or a traumatic experience happened to you where either uh, you were bullied and beat up pretty bad by a uh, person of a different ethnic background or you were mistreated by someone in power by somebody of a different ethnic background and you never grew up to realize that not everybody from that race should be judged off of that one person or one incident. Um, and then the third is, and I believe this is the majority of what what is happening to our our youth and and stuff nowadays. And that is, uh, you know, you got these white kids that are from uh, you know certain parts of the country and stuff where there's not a lot of ethnic backgrounds you know and uh, so what they see is what they see on TV 
they see the news where you know these black people committing all these crimes um they see on the news where you know you got you know people arguing about whether spanish people are committing all these crimes so they see that and then they see you know uh these shows you know you got shows like a uh, uh, black ink and i don't know if any of y'all watch it i watch it you know what i mean that show is supposed to be about tattoos and it's not it's more about people being fucking stupid and drama fighting and arguing bickering and then they do like one tattoo during the show you know what i mean so and that's the same way with uh you know you know black people black people are from the hood you know what i mean if their hood doesn't have you know uh, a lot of white people in it you know what i mean their interaction of white people is what they see on tv which is you know uh the saved by the bell image of white people where all white people are cornballs and all white people are rich and you know their biggest worries is the the red cup at starbucks and and different shit like that man so how do we change these views is it by doing protests like this absolutely not because these protests right here all they do is put one side of the fence to the other you know what i mean and i've always been a person who have stood right on top of the fence you know what i mean i've straddled that motherfucker not still hurting from it most of the time but i straddle it because i always try to see both sides of shit you know what i mean uh you know there's a lot of people out there man that consider you know the confederate flag to be uh nothing but uh racist and uh as y'all know man i am married to a black woman for 15 years now not only that i have a black child who i raised for 15 years now okay um i have a fucking confederate flag tattooed on me and it says dirty south going down through it okay and when i got that tattoo that tattoo didn't mean that i hate black people that tattoo to me meant i'm from the south it, it's different down here in the south you know what i mean than it is up in the north man and i'm proud of what i am man you know what i mean i'm proud of being the 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 hard working individuals you know what i mean that the south to me represents uh the uh you know the farmers the 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 people who struggle the people who are uh wanting to be independent man and that's what the confederate flag means to me you know what i mean yes to a lot of people you know what i mean even in my area right now look at the confederate flag as being you know racist and like you'll catch me man i'll be out with my old lady or whatever and we'll be at the beach or whatever and people see my confederate flag you know what i mean and then they see me with a black chick and they're like they're looking at me all weird and shit you know what i mean that's because their their eyes are closed man and for anybody to say that anybody who represents the south and and looks at stuff as heritage is a racist uh then that's a little prejudice you know what i mean um that would be like me saying you know uh every mexican is a fruit picker or sells fruit on the side of the road uh every black person sells drugs you know what i mean uh we cannot judge a a whole group on a few individuals people and uh i, I believe that that's what these uh protests do they put one side of the fence against the other one and nothing ever gets fucking you know uh settled nothing ever gets settled from from that because you don't have a bunch of smart people out there you don't have all smart people who can sit down talk about this debate it or whatever you got people on both sides who are there to do uh violence and everything else so to so me man i don't know how to fix it to be honest with you man i honestly don't man uh but i know me myself man uh gaming and youtube has brought me in to see a whole different light man uh 
I play and I talk with every day. Uh, people who before I would have never even had a chance to meet. And uh, I'm talking about people, you know, way out in Australia, people way out in the UK, um, you know, people out in Cali, you know, Spanish dudes, black dudes, uh, you know, it's it's crazy. You know what I mean? I, I don't know if I have any Asian followers, um, but I'm sure there's some, you know what I mean? Uh, but it's cool for me and I love interacting with everybody, you know what I mean? And yeah, if you watch my streams, man, we joke and we kid, you know what I mean? And, and you know, it's not just, you know, uh, black jokes or Spanish jokes, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, they come back at me and some of the other guys about white jokes, you know what I mean? I, I fuck with aces and them about being leprechauns, you know what I mean? And, and it's all in fun, man. But there's a serious note to racism, too, man. And me, myself, I just don't get it, man. I've always thought for myself, man. So what I want is, as I know most of my crowd is uh, older people. But, man, if there's any kids that watch my streams, watch my channels or anything else, man, understand this, man, and do me a favor. Before you hate a whole ethnic background, before you decide that a whole ethnic background is trash man get to know more than the one person who did you wrong from that ethnic background get to know more than a few you know what i mean from from in your school or in your neighborhood or whatever man don't just judge somebody one person by you know what i mean the whole ethnic background and i believe that goes the same with cops too man you cannot blame and, and judge every cop by the actions of a few. You know what I mean? Because not every cop wakes up and say, I want to go kill black people today. Does it happen? Yes, it does. Um, do I believe every shooting of a black person or a Spanish person is racist? Absolutely not. Uh why does it happen so much to black people? Uh, it happens just as much to, to white people and stuff. It's just not newsworthy. And, and it's not made a big of a deal of. You know, um, but man, just understand this, man. Uh, everybody has a heart. Everybody is good people, man. And everybody has bad people, man. Uh, that's my word, Camp Life. Much love to everybody, man. And uh, drop your drop your thoughts, you know what I mean, down in the comment section, man. Uh, right or wrong, whether you disagree with me or agree with me, man. You know me. Uh, we can have a conversation about this, you know. Uh, or you can just drop your, your thoughts down there in the chat. And uh, I'll look at them and comment back, man. Uh, can't wait to see what y'all got to say about this. Hopefully y'all enjoy it, man. Can't lie, keep those campfires burning. I'm out of this bitch.